Right now we are looking for a little baby bed. Yes, because last night was all over the place. And with all over the place, I mean all over the room. <laughs> we need something to contain you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So now we are thinking maybe we want to make a little Nolan corner in the blue and white farmhouse bedroom. Because we can't leave you anywhere anymore. Huh? <laughs> no. Apparently it's not easy to find a beautiful old little baby bed online at the moment. Mysterious things are happening in the blue and white farmhouse bedroom. All of a sudden we have two little tables instead of one. A little mysterious items are randomly dotted all around the room. We have rocks appearing, which is actually kind of nice. Two mattresses. All of a sudden, instead of just one. And then over here we have this monster of a chair. <laughs> Where did it come from? And why is it in here? I do think that Rogier's sister was the last person that stayed in here. As far as I can remember anyway. So I think this mattress is over here right now because she decided that it wasn't right for her. So I guess for now we are going to move this out and we are going to keep this in. It's a bit too small for this bed so I just filled all of this up over here with a couple of blankets. Everything is just dirty. Oh. All of a sudden I'm realizing that we don't have a lot of electricity sockets in here. this fast. I really think it is because of the countryside. There's just more dust and dirt coming in. So I found the cutest little baby bed online on Facebook marketplace. It belonged to a woman that told me that it was made in 1956 and she knew this because she slept in it when she was a baby. <laughs> so I asked her Aren't you feeling sad about getting rid of it? And she said that she was feeling sad about it. But it was just time, I guess. Her grandbaby slept in it for years, but they all grew up and it was just sitting there. So now it's here. is disappearing like it is nobody's business right now
To me it seems like this side of the bed is completely bent. I don't know if this is going to cause an issue with the bottom of it. Right now I'm trying to figure out where to put this bed. <laughs> Design-wise, having another bed in here is not the best decision. <laughs> no matter where this bed is going to end up, we are definitely going to need curtains. I don't really know where to put this. It doesn't really matter where I put it, it just looks awkward. So now, because there is this big bend in the side of the bed, the bottom does not want to stay in. Why is it that every single time when I try to do something with a piece of furniture it turns into a DIY job that I need to do? I am not happy about it. baby bed I can feel you I can feel your misery because I feel it too oh. <laughs> I think we need to make a new bottom in the future because it's just not strong at all it also just needs more stability so I guess it is going to be a project great is arriving in. <laughs> Just now I decided that out of the two little tables that we had in this bedroom, this is the little table that I want to keep. I actually never really liked the other table. I never told you guys that I didn't like it, but I don't. <laughs> so other table is out and this table is in. Now there are definitely a couple of things that I don't like. The first thing that I don't like is this dark, dark color. I also don't really like this weathered down look that it has because I don't think that it is weathered down in a really nice beautiful way. So therefore I decided that I am going to paint it. I'm also going to change out these little things for something else because I think that right now, the way it looks right now, is not a great fit with all of the other things that we also have in this bedroom. In my opinion, it is just not farmhousey enough. So it needs a little makeover. I think that this is going to look really nice next to Nolan's little bed. We can put some toys for him over here. We can use these drawers for all kinds of things that he needs. I'm excited about this. And what is going on over here? Because this is not closing all the way. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I thought that this was a drawer too. Because obviously it is not. It is the top. really getting me anywhere. I think there is something wrong with this setting actually. <sighs> this is the only one that I could find because from here took all of the other ones and now I feel terribly unlucky because I have to send this entire <laughs> table by hand. Horrible. 
struggle. I'm smiling, but I'm not having fun. Okay? Oh, I'm squishing my eye. thing about this car is that you don't have to do anything <laughs> to close the doors. It's fully automatic. Yeah, very high up to modern standards. And how is your hair doing today? It's also up to very uh, Norman, uh, normal standards. Normal standards or high? No, normal. Oh, no. That's a bit assaulting actually because I gave you this haircut, but... Uh... <laughs> go to a Dutch flea market without a whole bunch of wooden shoes which are called klompen actually that's really nice it's uh I'm going to France for an amazing holiday hat yeah yeah Did you just pee in the forest of the king? I did. <laughs> How was it? Wonderful. Better than your haircut? Yes, better than my haircut. So is this supposed to keep us out or...? Or in. <laughs> or in. <laughs> Over here you have to walk your bike. Thank you. 
here wants to go home because he says he can't handle any more creativity. It's just too much for him. <laughs> I don't get how you can ever have enough of creativity. Mm, yeah. I used a lot of filler to fill a very big dent, much more filler than you can actually use at once. And usually it doesn't work because it just falls out. It's still wet. I usually just apply the first coat of primer just as a base layer for filler. And then when I'm done with filling all of the things that I want to fill, then I am actually applying a coat of primer as a base for the glossy paint. I actually also decided to remove the locks and I filled in the keyholes because I just want to have knobs. We are never going to lock the drawers anyway and having keys in combination with small children, it's just a recipe for disaster. Now maybe in the future I will make the inside of the drawers and the inside of the top of this table all nice and beautiful but for now i'm just going to focus on the outside it's so terribly cold and gloomy out here i just don't want to be here anymore probably it would be smart to move this inside because it's not drying the paint is but the filler is not This is just one of those days wherein the best thing to do really is just to light a fire. <laughs> 